Good evening, esteemed television watchers. Next Chivan News program in English is on air. As usual, in the course of our program, we'll have a look at the general view of the last week. A new airstrip is under construction in Nakhchivan International Airport. The chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vaisif Talibov, saw the ongoing construction works. More in our video material. Let's watch. On August 2, the chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vaisif Talibov, and the president of Azerbaijan Airlines closed joint stock company Jahangir Asgarov saw the works on the new airstrip at Nakhchivan International Airport. It was reported that the airstrip is 3,300 meters in length and 60 meters in width. The improvement works were completed in the total area of 250 square meters and obstacles were eliminated in the takeoff and landing zone. The underlayer of the strip has been cemented by shifting GOSA engineering and communications lines as well as drainage and collectors for rain and ground water were installed. Asphalt cover was laid. All construction works are carried out pursuant to the climate conditions and international requirements and the use of high-quality construction materials are considered. The airstrip and illuminating systems are to meet all modern requirements. In order to provide comfortable night flights, the airstrip will be equipped with light signaling equipments in either directions. During the construction work, satellite navigation signals have been installed in the area, an automated meteorological radio radar has been installed, and radio communication facilities have been upgraded to provide safe departure and flight of airplanes in difficult weather conditions. This will enable the rapid and accurate transfer of weather information on domestic and international corridors. The height of decision-making in foggy weather will be from 30 meters to 400 meters due to the installation of landing system on the airstrip. Created conditions will allow the airport to operate constantly and above all to receive any wide-ranging air buses. Then the chairman of Supreme Medalist thanked all those who had trouble on the construction of the airstrip and gave instructions to take heed at the quality. We continue our program with social economic news blog. Modern infrastructure was created and new social objects were put into using the Shlagabas village of Sharu region. Along with this, within the framework of the irrigation equipments in Azerbaijan, water industry project, a contract was signed with the People's Republic of China. For furthermore, let's watch. On August 1, the village and service centers were put into operation in Gashlagabas village of Sheru region. The village center includes three rooms for the administrative regional office, two for the municipality, meeting hall with the capacity of 50 seats, New Azerbaijan Party Gashlagabas village organization, a library and club, veterinary and statistics and archive rooms. The service center will also include a shop, a beauty salon, a tailor, a butcher, a warehouse, food and household goods stores, which will employ seven people there. On July 31, a contract was signed in Nakhchivan for the implementation of the project irrigation equipments in Azerbaijan water industry. The contract was 22,580,000 Chinese yuan was signed by the chairman of the State Committee for Amelioration and Water Management of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Askar Askarov, and the advisor on trade and economic affairs of the People's Republic of China to Azerbaijan, Wan Chungan. Presentation of 500 communal containers and service vehicles was held in the Autonomous Republic. 40 new containers were given to Nakhchivan City Sanitation Department and the rest were given to communal enterprises and municipalities covering all regional administrative territorial units of the Autonomous Republic. At the event, the representative administrative office and municipality of Nehran village of Babek region, Jehri village representative administrative office and also representative administrative office of Hyderabad settlement of Sadarak region were provided with new service vehicles. Five-day training on school administration was organized by the Ministry of Education of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. 
The trainings covered a wide range of topics and topics such as rules of intercultural communication, parent partnerships, lesson planning, human resource management, leadership and more were discussed. Trainees' first, second and third level certificates were presented to those who achieved high results in the exams. Nakjivan Business Center hosted a meeting within the framework of the social partnership project between employment service agencies and employers. Speakers touched upon the rights and obligations of employees and employers in employment agencies and also the importance of the project. During the event, discussions were held under the social partnership project, questions were clarified, suggestions were considered, informational booklets were distributed. A number of improvements have been made to the software of the electronic database on the children's rights. To this end, the State Committee for Family, Women and Children Affairs of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic held an event. An event was held in Ordobat Region Executive Power on the organization of the insurance business and the forthcoming tasks. Speakers highlighted the downworks in the area of insurance in the region. Nakjivan Autonomous Republic Library and Nakjivan State University hosted events on August 1 the Azerbaijan Alphabet and Azerbaijani Language Day. Speeches on the themes such as Heider Aliyev's heritage and development issues of literary language during independence, our national identity, our native language, language is a factor of moral values, the role of historical figures in the history and development of the Azerbaijan alphabet were listened. The library also hosted an exhibition dedicated to the remarkable day. An event devoted to August to the Day of Azerbaijani Cinema was held at Nakjivan State Film Fund. The event included an exhibition of posters of our feature films as well as history and development of Azerbaijan national cinema were touched upon. At the end, silent feature film The Maiden Tower, screened in 1923, was demonstrated. Thirty-five pilgrims from Nakjivan Autonomous Republic were sent to the Holy Hajj. The pilgrims were sent off at Nakjivan International Airport by the director of the state agency for work with religious organizations of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic, Vigar Babayev, and Nakjivan Autonomous Republic, Ghazi Sahib Mehmedov and their relatives. An event entitled Nakjivan Model in the Arrangement of Ceremonies was held in Zainaddin village of Babek region. The event focused on the restoration of religious monuments in the Autonomous Republic, construction of mosques, freedom of religion and respect for multicultural values. A new house is under construction for Wahid Hussein, a resident of Badamli village of Shahpuz region who has lost his health in April war. The house will be presented to the war veteran in the near future. Joint commission consisting of the representatives of the State Customs Committee of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic, the Minister of Internal Affairs of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic, detached army and Nakjivan border division examined the goods seized by the customs authorities. A variety of vehicles and accessories were seized as a part of measures to combat against violations of customs legislation. The goods stored by the customs authorities for the protection of customer rights, health and safety of the population were destroyed by burning. The tradition of sending gifts to the military units by the representatives of various government agencies, enterprises and organizations including various businesses continues. This time, Sederek Region Executive Power donated 3,100 kilograms of watermelon to the military unit in the region.
the second volume of the well-known commentator in Nakjivan Nematullah Nakjivani's book The Key of the Unseen and the Divine Conquest, explaining the words and wisdom of the Quran God published. The book was published in Ajami Publishing and Polygraphy Union in accordance with the action plan approved by the order of the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic dated on October 29, 2018 on the learning and study of the legacy of the outstanding scientist Nematullah Nakjivani. The book contains commentary on the sentences of the Holy Quran by Nematullah Nakjivani. A new manual entitled Practical Accounting of Labor Relations got published at the Jami Publishing and Polygraphy Union. The manual was prepared by the initiative of the Financial Training Center under the Ministry of Finance of Nakjivan Autonomous Republic. The manual, published by the decision of the Scientific Council of Nakjivan State University, is intended for students of economic bias higher educational institutions, masters, teachers, accountants in business, auditors, economists, and others interested in accounting. The monograph in Akjivan Gyoja known by its name and taste was published by the scientists of the Bioresources Institute of Nakjivan branch of Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences, Doctor of Agrarian Sciences, Varis Kuluyev. The monograph published in Malin Publishing House highlights the importance of traditional Guja festivals in Nakchivan and focuses on the agrobiological features of the Nakchivan variety, natural variations, breeding techniques and also reproduction techniques of Guja. Students of Nakchivan State Technical College and active use of the Autonomous Republic spent a four-day summer school at Akbulak Recreation Center and had an effective leisure time. An exhibition of paintings and handicrafts by talented women was held in Sharu region. Nakchivani sportsmen returned from the country championship justifying golf hubs, and also sport competitions continued in the Autonomous Republic. So now sport and culture news to your minds, let's have a glance. An exhibition sale of handicrafts by talented women was organized in Sharu region. More than 400 paintings and crafts by 52 women were on display at the exhibition. Azerbaijan Championship among boys and girls in 15 and 17 age group was held at Heavy Weight Lifting Academy in Shuvalan Settlement. About 150 young athletes representing sports societies, clubs and centers from all cities and regions of the country took part in the competition. Tarmanhan Babayev and Gyuljahan Aliyev won golden and bronze medals respectively. Volleyball Championship was held in Nakjivan. The championship intended to propagate volleyball among boys was attended by six teams. The winner teams were presented with diplomas. Nakjivan City Championship on swimming was held among teens and young ones. Such athletes on two age group competed in a distance of 25 meters. The winners were presented with diplomas by the organizers. The Open Boxing Championship was held among the young people and teenagers in Nakchivan. Altogether, fifth athletes competed in the championship, including 12 weight categories for boys and two for girls. The distinguished athletes were given diplomas by the organizers. The Autonomous Republic Open Championship was held on shooting gallery in Sharu region. 20 participants competed for the victory, and the winners were awarded with diplomas and coupons by the organizers.
friendly match on Buchiyevo's held among Paralympians. 18 children with disabilities participated in the event. At the end of the meeting, the winners were presented with honorary diplomas by the organizers. The geographical location of the Autonomous Republic, its unique climate, fauna and flora, cultural monuments create favorable conditions for the development of tourism. Such favorable conditions also exist in the village of Agbulak, which is 2,000 meters above sea level. The Recreation Center commissioned in the village in 2013 is the first large-scale rural tourism project in our country. The Agbulak Recreation Center is one of the ideal places to contribute to the development of summer and winter tourism in the Autonomous Republic. Therefore, tourists visit this magnificent place in all seasons of the year. Agbulak Recreation Center was commissioned in 2013 as a part of the implementation of the state program on tourism development in the Republic of Azerbaijan for 2010-14, approved by the executive order of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan. The decree of the Chairman of Supreme Majlis of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Mr. Vasev Talubov, as for November 29, 2018, on the establishment of Agbulak Rural Tourism and Recreation Zone, is once again a reflection of the attention and care to the mentioned field. At the height of up to 2,000 meters above sea level, Agbulak has cool summers and in winter its own beautiful, specific kind of weather, ideal purity of air abundance of oxygen, summer greenness and the attractive appearance of white fields in the winter have a very positive effect on people's mood. Impressive natural landscapes, cool and healing springs, mineral springs, woods and hills, snow-capped mountain slopes, peaks are an indispensable experience for tourists who visit here for a couple of months, not just for a few months. In addition to such natural opportunities of the village, the use of modern recreation center here has increased tourists' interest to this place. Visitors come from many parts of the world every year. One more advantage of this recreation center is said to be its natural and high-quality cuisine. The center offers visitors products made by the villagers. The foundation of the ski center in the village of Agbulag on July 17, 2018, and the commencement of construction works are of great importance for the future development of winter tourism in the region. Dear television watchers, that was all for today. Hoping to be together next Monday at the same time. Goodbye.